What's up, YouTube? Ripping Clouds back here again. Oh, and man, have I been busy. I It's only been a day since I've done another review, and I've been ultra busy. I, I got up at 6, uh, went to my first job, then I got off there at, at 2 and went to New Life, and I worked there, and I got off at 9, so that's a 17-hour day. I'm, I'm dead beat tired, but it doesn't matter because we're going to do a review on this tank right here. The one that I've been showing in the other videos on the Magneto. And it is called the A9 by... Let me pull up that picture on the internet again. That's the beauty of this channel. It's uncut and unedited. So there are no stops. Nothing like that. It's all, it's all one stream shot. And it is called the... Kumio A9 Stainless Steel Rebuildable atomizing dripper and this is what it looks like right here this is it we're gonna get an up close on it right over here on this little stand once I get that set up we're gonna rip it apart and see what's inside and um, see how it vapes so let's get up close and personal with the A9 by Kumio like I said uncut that's how we do it over here we don't worry about all that other nonsense Okay, this is the tank. Solid stainless steel. Not a bad design. Um, this is the tip that came with it. I don't really like it. Just a regular stainless steel tip. Got some weight to it, whatever. But this is what I'm about right here. That's how I like my tank. I got some other ones, but it's really not a big deal. It's just the tip. It's got an adjustable pin in the bottom. A little brushed, you can see on the bottom here that there are some CNC machining marks on it just from where it has been in the machine uh, other than that it's a pretty clean tank uh, I've been handling it for um, a little while now so it might look a little rough it's got some crap on it um, I did drill out the air hole on this to a two millimeter air hole so I mean this is a pretty small tank right here but that is the two millimeter air hole and that is the undrilled air hole that I left. There's an there's another one on the other side, but you can only do one hole at a time unless you drill through the outer shell. So the drip tip pops off like that. Then a lot of people think that this tank has to be twisted off because there is a bottom piece that twists off like this and you can drip it that way. But this is false. You can just do one of these. It separates right there like that. There's a little O-ring right here, as you can see. I'm not sure if there was supposed to be one right here, but there is not. It did not come with one on it. And uh, I mentioned that to the sales rep at the, the, the vapor store, and he was like, eh. And I mean, I, it's not a big deal. I really don't care. I was just like, oh, did this, uh, this one not come with an O-ring or something like that? And he was like, I have no idea. I mean, I opened it up out the box. And it was like this. It was brand new in the packaging. And it just didn't have an O-ring right here. Whatever. It makes it easier to um, pull apart. Now, then this. Here's your top piece where I have my drilled hole. Simple, all stainless steel top piece. Not a big deal. It is, uh, you know, it's it's pretty smooth on the inside. It's, it's not, you know, horribly designed. I paid for this, uh, 10 bucks I paid for this. So, I mean, for 10 bucks, a three post is not bad. And, um, this piece s then comes off of the base where you wrap, like so. That's all that is. And as you can see, on this piece, you have, wow, that's, uh, there we go right here you've got a hole on this side and a hole on the other side while wow, I'm getting juice all over this little stand so you've got two holes but you can only utilize one of them at a time um, not really why not sure why they put two holes on this but um, because this only has uh, one hole per side 
So, I mean, this has one and this has two. Why? Who, who knows? I guess if you have a coil on the other side and the way it sits, uh, I'm not sure. But those those two pieces, keep those back here. And this is the actual, this is the business, the business end of it right here. This is not the stock wrap. Um, I did this wrap like almost immediately after I bought it. I vaped the uh, stock one for about like two puffs and I immediately switched it. Uh, that one was a, uh, the stock one comes with one ohm pre-wrapped and it's two, it's a two coil. This is a, a single, not a dual, so there's nothing on the other side. Even though it's got three posts, you can, you can wrap another one, but I prefer this. This is sub-ohm, four wrap, it's hitting about 0.7, which is a, yeah, it's, you know, it's whatever. It's better than one ohm, at least it's sub um, it was fairly easy to wrap. I mean, you've got some decent build room in here. I mean, it's not the biggest thing in the world, but, uh, I just wrapped it first, stuck it in, and tightened it down. The nice thing about this tank is you don't have to have a screwdriver to, um, put this thing back together. You just kind of wrench it together with your finger, and then I'll go back over the top of it, maybe with like a, a, a pair of small pliers or something just to make sure it's good and tight on there but uh... this thing is a uh, pretty ridiculous um... for uh... ten bucks um... i don't think you can really beat it for ten bucks I'm trying to figure out what's going on up here on top there's two little posts sticking out the top of the uh... screws i never noticed that before Trying to figure out why those are like that right there. Not really sure. Might have to like kind of using the camera right now to even see that. That's how small those little things are. Um, not sure, but never noticed that before. Anyway, this is a a great little uh, dripper if you want to get into dripping and don't want to spend a lot of money. That's all. That's all I'm about. I'm all about trying to get you guys to blow clouds and not spend a lot of money my entire setup you're about to see I only have about sixty dollars in I mean forty for this the magneto in the background right here um, for this e-liquid uh, it was about you know ten dollars and then for that tank ten dollars so forty fifty sixty bucks I mean sixty bucks you'll, you'll see what kind of clouds I'm, I'm you know, doing and uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money to blow ridiculous clouds. Like some people have Caravellas and um, uh, pull the axe and stuff, and I'm um, you know shooting the same amount of clouds, and they spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on their shit. And I'm t here to try and help you guys uh, not do that because that's a. I mean, yeah, it. it it's a conversation piece to have a pull the axe, but if you're just trying to simply blow clouds. You can do it for 60, 50 bucks. It's it's not that big of a deal. Um, so let's throw this on the magneto and see how it vapes. Get it nice and juiced up right there. And I noticed the easiest way to put this on your mod is simply grab the three posts like so and just start twisting it on there. That way you can get it nice and tight. Yeah, your finger's gonna be a little juicy when you're done, but uh, no big deal. Wipe it off on your jeans or something. So let's get the camera back and change that focus because it's ridiculous. What? And we are back, back into the, the normal view of things, I guess. Once you get it on your, your mod, you know, nice and tight, just grab your second piece. The only complaint I have about this is sometimes the threads get stuck. The the wick kind of gets stuck in the threads. It depends on how you wrap it, but my personal setup kind of gets stuck in the threads when I'm trying to screw this back on. Yeah, see, it's kind of not the the wick is getting in the threads a little bit, 
and it's, it grabs on the wall. So I kind of got to pull something like this out and kind of get it out of the fucking threads like that and make sure it doesn't snag on that wall, which it's doing again. I mean, it's not a big deal. Just when you get it screwed down, grab your little tool and kind of just push it back in there. Because once you get that top piece screwed on, you don't have to unscrew it again. You can just pull off this top piece right here, and you'll be good to go. Should be fine. Yeah, you just... Uh, another thing I don't like about it is since this top piece screws on, the air hole is attached to that piece. So you don't really get to pick where your air hole is unlike the ones that are o-ringed right here you can kind of slide around and move the air hole this you're screwing it on and the air hole lands in the same spot every time with a full tight tightness this is the o-ring part and all you do is line up the hole so it's weird uh, you don't really get to pick where your air hole is. You just kind of get to adjust how much air goes in the air hole. If that makes any sense. Doesn't really matter though. I don't think. Because it's, it, it, it's at least the air hole is in a good spot. It's not in a bad spot. So, yeah, you don't get to really pick where the air hole goes. But they already thought about this. And we're like, they're probably going to get pissed off about that. So... Let's make it in a good spot so that they don't complain. And they did make it in a good spot, so you just really have to adjust it. So let's take a let's take a hit. Not bad. I mean Let's see if I can do this some justice. So, for eleven dollars, shit, ten dollars, but eleven after taxes. Come on, whatever. Be like. And then you're ready to go again. You'd be like, you walk up, your your friends are in the vape shop, and they're like, dude, check out my new Poldiac mod. And your other buddy's like, whoa, I got he got a Poldiac, but check out my my sweet ass uh, Machiavelli. And your other buddy's sitting in the corner, and he's like, yeah, I just got my Proberry today with a Kraken tank. And you're like, oh, check out my my forty dollar Magneto mod and my ten dollar A nine dripper. Your friends are like, wait, what? And then, you know. They're like, how do you build clouds out of a $50 setup? You're like, because I'm an electrician and I know how ohms and resistance works. Honestly, you can buy any tank you want as long as it's a three post. Any tank you want, it's not the tank, it's the wraps you put in it. It's not the mechanical mod, it's the tank with the wraps. All mechanical mods are pretty much going to spit out the same voltage. So it really doesn't even matter about the mechanical mod. It just matters your tank, really. And not even the tank, just the wrap you put on it. I could have the shittiest tank in the world, have .2 ohms on it. I paid like $3 at like, you know, a whatever store and wrap it with three wraps of point two on four point two volts and blow fucking storm clouds out of my face. It really it you know Point proven. It's not about the mod, it's about the smoker and it's about how many ohms you're running and I mean that's all that really matters. So yeah, I mean 
I'd give this tank a, a 3.8 out of 5 stars because of the crunchy threads, the wicks getting stuck, and the threads because only the top half pulls off, and the air hole not being able to place where you desire. So 3.8 out of 5, but then again you get what you pay for because I only paid $11 after taxes for this tank. Other than that, I definitely recommend this tank if you're trying to get into drippers and you've never dripped before, go. I'm sure your vape store has an A9 or an A6 by Kumio. Uh, they're all over the place. They're a real generic dripper. Hell, you could even get a mini octopus, something along those lines. And it's just, if you don't know how to wrap, I'm going to do a tutorial. If you're, you know, you, you got it, it's simple. I'll show you how to wrap. Too easy. But, I mean, that's all. That's, that's really it. It's a, it's a good, it's a good product. And I definitely recommend it. I'm not disappointed at all. So until next time, YouTube, that is all for today.